today I'm going to show you an alternative way to make a hydrogen measuring device out of some simple readily available materials. There are other measuring devices on the net and they perhaps have more moving parts, a little more complex. This is a little simpler I hope. This is a polycarbonate type drink container. Uh, you can look for one with a, a linear scale already built into it. This one's a one liter container and I've put just a piece of masking tape on here marking from the 300 to the 800 milliliter level and so that uh, indicates a 500 milliliter change and we'll get into this a little bit later but essentially this will be filled with water and as the hydrogen enters the uh, water will drain out and we will time the distance uh, the the, uh, the difference in time from the water from this point to this point and that will help us calculate our our HHO gas uh, generation. These are the 3 8 inch interior diameter braided hose and these are simple garden hose fittings with uh, ball cocks. This one is attached to a um, brass barb on the inside there and the other end of the hose is attached to a, a Y connector and we'll talk about why the Y connector in a bit in a minute. We need two caps uh, that typically seal off these units and each cap is um, drilled with a uh, 5 8 inch drill right through the center. Clean it, clean it up, put the uh, gasket back in place and use, use the, um, the wider uh, diameter gasket. Pop that in and we screw that in place and it acts as a pressure fitting. Don't, don't tighten it yet. We will put the HHO line from the generator into here, tighten it up, and that's, that squeezes on the sides of the tube, creates an airtight system. The other thing we might, we'll need is a pan filled with a couple inches of water. Just a, frying, a large frying pan will do quite nicely. And uh, some household goop. What I did was I drilled the top of this bottle here uh, with the um, 5 8 uh, drill, heated it with a heat gun and jammed the barb in when it was hot. That created a nice seal. And then from the uh, inside I used a, a, a long device and uh, put the, the goop around the inside to create an airtight seal inside here. You might need some masking tape, possibly I used also some double-sided foam tape to, to create the transition zones if your fittings don't fit perfectly. But essentially all of this uh, it was just lying around. Now, once the fitting's in place, and as you can see this is, this is also a pressure fitting with the, with the washer inside here, we have to drill some vent holes around the neck of the bottle uh, such that when the cap is screwed on, the vent holes are free and clear to drain liquid. Because the whole system is actually going to be upside down in the water, and as long as uh, there's a vacuum, no, no liquid drains out. But as soon as HHO is introduced into the system, mm. wa um, water will drain out because the gas is coming in. And it has to be free to drain out. So we'll just do a Here little test. Here's the um, water bottle. The ball cock here is in the closed position. Uh, it's, it's full with water, pretty well full. I'm going to put the cap on and make sure it's nice and tight. And when it's turned over it should uh, leak a tiny bit but then it should stop. And as you can see uh, no water is draining out even though the holes are exposed to the air. And that's because there's a vacuum in this, in this system. No air or gas is allowed to enter. Uh, just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll crack the ball cock a little bit and you'll see that I'm allowing, uh, I'm allowing gas to enter the system and water will drain out quite quickly. Okay. Like so. So uh, these two uh, valves here, the one with the pressure fitting, will, we will introduce the HHO line. The other one will be open to the air. Now, uh, we'll be running the vehicle and essentially HHO will come in here 
and will go out here because I will have this ball cock closed until I'm ready to start the timing. At the time I start the timing, we'll open this and close the outside air valve and HHA, HHO will then enter the system and we will time the, the, uh, the time it takes for the water to drop. And the only way water is dropping is HHO is coming in to displace it. And that, then we'll be able to calculate our uh, liters per, per minute a production. Chevy Suburban 1996. I installed a hybrid cell uh, 773 brick, mega brick, from Transitional Technologies. Uh, we have, this is a standard uh, setup. Uh, we have the, the mega brick here. I have it mounted beside my alternator. Uh, we have the reservoir back here. Uh, the, the lead to the brick comes from the bottom. Reservoir is immersed in uh, sodium hydroxide solution. The gas and, and foam liquid mixture percolates up through here, drops back into the reservoir. Clear gas comes into the bubbler and scrubs the last amount of uh, liquid out of the gas mixture. And then the HHO gas comes down through this tube here and is introduced into the uh, air intake just in front of the and turbo. Diesel started and we are operating at just shy of 30 amps in the system here. As you can see. To simplify things, I've taken the, uh, the rubber grommet off here already. So we pull the hose out of the air intake. You can see there's some HHO coming out here already. Make sure that uh, both ball cocks are open. Back this out. So the HHO will come in here and come out here to the atmosphere until we're ready to start the test. When the uh, water reaches this point, I will start the timer. When it reaches this point, we'll stop. We had 16.4 seconds, we produced 500 milliliters of HHO. 16.4 seconds for 500 milliliters. Turns cold, the words I hear